Catch up top with Fox. All right, this is the matchup that we wanted to see. Ooh. 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 Shee! What up, Hoopers? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another breakdown. And today, we got to talk Tatum, man. He dropped in 36 points against the Sacramento Kings. There was some talk about breaking up the Jason Brown, Jalen Tate. <laughs> Jason Brown and Jalen Tatum. There's been some talk lately about breaking up the Jason Tatum, Jalen Brown combination. In my eyes, I think that's the dumbest thing that Boston could ever do, but they've done dumber. I don't know if you guys remember this, but earlier in the season, Jason Tatum was being mentioned as an MVP candidate. And in my opinion, he's the best wing player in the league. Now, you can argue me with that. I don't really see who you could argue that with. Maybe Devin Booker. I'm taking Jason Tatum over Devin Booker. We'll say that for later, man. For now, let's get into this breakdown. Let's see where Jason got his 36 points from. All right, let's get into the fun stuff, man. First play, we got this ISO on Harrison Barnes. Taking him right to the rack. What we got here? We got a little jab, pump, jab, right past him. It's very simple uh, series of moves right here. We see this a lot. You got the jab step, pump fake, then another jab step. Then he just goes right past him. He bites on the last jab. Look at that top foot of Harrison. Slides over just a little bit. And basketball is all about trying to get your foot around their outside foot. So if you want to get past somebody, it's literally as simple as that, but it's easier said than done. You want to get this outside foot past and around their inside foot. And once you do that, you're right to the basket. You see right here, Tatum's right foot, wide angle right around Harrison Barnes' left foot. And that gets him a clear, clear line to the basket. Takes the contact, right, left, up, use the glass, use the rim for protection, all that good stuff. Here we go, high screen attack, in and out, good move. You can't see it because of the camera angle, but he gets a screen up top right here. He's walking up to the three point line as if he's gonna shoot this. And he goes hesitation. You see right there the little in and out hesitation. That gets that guy in the air. And then we go right past him. All we need is all we need is a step, man. If you get a defender to raise up out their stance just a little bit, go right past him. That's all. That's all it takes. Split seconds. Catch it in a post. Face up. Jumper. This is my favorite shot in basketball. I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I know I said the pull-up shot is my favorite shot, but this is my second favorite. First favorite. Whatever. You catch right here in the paint. And the defense's natural reaction is to face up. Once you face up, they're, gonna, they're probably going to back up a little bit, give you some space, see what you want to do. And from there, you go right into the shot. If I catch and I turn and you're backing up, giving me space, that's all the space you need to shoot that shot. Go right up into it. You see right here, he catches it. His hand is on his hip when the ball is in the air. Once he catches it, he puts that hand down and he moves back. Just, just pay attention to number three. He's on his hip, he catches it, drop his hand, move back. Face up, that's too much space. From here, I'm just gonna rise up and shoot it. Very simple, very easy shot. It's all about the why. Coming to set the screen, get it out. Ooh, same same series. This is, this is what makes uh, Tatum the best wing player in the league to me. The fact that Boston uses him in the post, he just caught that, that ball down here on the last possession. They, they give him the ball in ISO situations as well. And then they have him come up and set these screens. It's another reason why Jayden, Jason Tatum is the best wing player to me, because he could, he, could, he could work off pick and roll. He could set a screen, he could roll to the basket, you could, you could throw the lob, you give him a bounce pass. He's gonna be able to get a, a bucket out of that, or at least create something for the team. Most wings in the league are one dimensional. You're not gonna put Devin Booker in a pick and roll. If you are, he's gonna be the one dribbling. He's, gonna, he's not gonna be the one setting the screen. He comes to set the screen, they switch it. And from there, he knows what he wants to do. He wants his ISO with number three. So that's what we call a switch screen. When you set a screen purely for the reason of getting a switch, because you know their uh, defensive strategy, you use that against them. They switch, he catches it up top. Pump fake, jab, attack. But this time he does a step back. You saw in the last one, he did the pump, jab, go. Now he does the, the pump, jab, step back and gets that defender as soon as he opens up. 
You see, pump fix, he's in the air. That's where he fucked up first. Jab, he turns his body. Look at as he as he's closing out. Jab, turns his body. That's where he fucked up second. Now from here, as a defender, you have to literally open all the way up. It's like a like a goddamn door. You gotta open up. You gotta go 180 degrees, flip them hips, try to open up. Once he does that, perfectly timed step back, crosses his feet. Now he's beat. Cross your feet, now you're beat. Knock down the jumper. Here we go. In and out cross, attack. This is a nice attack. High screen up top from uh, Horford. You're going right past him. Get the big guy stepping up. You go in and out, crossover. Right at him. Low key, man, whenever you're coming down the tunnel like this, whenever you're coming through the lane, you get that screen. You're coming off of it. You go one on one with a big guy. You're looking him dead in his eyes. He's looking at you. You're looking at him. In and out cross. That's all you got to do. You're going to fuck him up every time. In and out cross fucks the big guys up. They don't really know how to handle it because you go in and out and then they start shifting and then you hit them with the cross and then they're, they're just done. So look, in and out cross right past them. Right past him. Attack the rim and put his big ass in the basket. Jab, one dribble to the paint, finish. Now, this is just a, a, a great player making a tough shot. Right here, we get the same look that we got before. We catch it in the post. This time, you see as soon as he faces up, he's up. He's, he, he's up because last time I faced up, I shot it over the top of you. Now, when I come to face up, you're going to guard that. Give him a jab. He's got his hand there. Okay, jab right past him. It's actually pretty good defense. He, he goes baseline, cuts off that angle. You see how Tatum has to jump back in front of the rim to get to it. Good defense. But like I said, just a, a, a great player making a tough shot right there. Third quarter. Back pick. Catch it down low. Right up. Right up. You see with this action... 17s on him, so Tatum just walks him right down to the paint, gets a clear out right here with, with Brown. You want to get some space down there, so you set him a little screen just so he could get out of there. You get your space. Now he catches it all alone in the post. Nobody's there. Nobody can help. One dribble in and go right up. It looks like he was, you know, foul fishing, but he didn't get the call. Defender kept his arm straight up. Solid defense, but even better, you know, you can actually try to block the shot, buddy. Moving on. Catch up top with Fox. All right, this is the matchup that we wanted to see. Ooh. 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 Chee! <sighs> yeah. You get this ISO up top with De'Aaron Fox. He's pushing him out of the paint, staying strong. Not out of the paint, but pushing him off his pivot. I like that. A tough defense, getting in there, being an agitator. Look at this move by Tatum. A little reverse pivot. Take that right leg, stick it out just to get some space, and then immediately goes into a dribble step back. God damn. That's an excellent move. Excellent pivot work by Jason Tatum. Taking a contact, embracing the contact, and saying, hey, I'll do you one better. Turn, step back. Look at all that space. Right up for the shot. That's a drill, man. Go get better, y'all. Coming down on the wing. Oh, he fucked him up on that half spin, huh? God damn. Right into the paint. I like this dribble move, though. You coming down, dribble, half spin, right past him. A lot of people don't do the half spin anymore, but eh, it's not that effective. It's only that effective when you, when you get it right. You got Williams coming to set the screen right here. And I bet you Sabonis is telling them, hey, screen left, screen left, watch your left. So when I do a half spin to the left, as a defender, you're thinking that screen's right there anyway. You might be trying to go over the top and beat me there. That's why he got fucked up. You got to use the defense against themselves, man. If somebody's going to call out screen left, screen left, I'm going to make you think that I'm going to use this screen on your left. And then I'm going to reject it, spin off of it, and fuck you up. Probably stop saying that, right? 
YouTube be tripping. Good cut, better cut, good dunk. This is great basketball right here, man. Great team ball. You get a screen up top. I don't know. They're sending a double team at Jalen Brown early. He must have been cooking. Get the screen. Derek White, I think that's the name, right? Derek White. His man leaves him to set the screen. So once Jalen Brown gets over here to the wing, he cuts free throw line. Catch right there. Tatum, instead of sitting in a three-point line, because he, he has this shot. If he wanted to, he could just camp out at the three-point line, get this ball, shoot that corner three. Instead, he cuts to the basket with his cutter. Cut with the cutter. Gets an easy baseline dunk. So Derek White cuts first. Turn. Tatum cuts immediately. Dunk. Shout out Jason Tatum, man. Another great breakdown. Like I said, earlier in the season, he was uh, in the MVP race. He was on that MVP ladder. He was averaging like 32 as well. But, you know, over the course of a long season, some things change. Things drop off. Injuries happen. But Tatum, for the most part, remained durable. Jalen Brown, aside from that facial injury, he remained durable as well, which is why Boston Celtics are number two in the East. But Tatum and Brown, if they break that up, that'll be the worst blunder in Boston franchise history within the last 10 years. All right, we ain't going to go that far, but within the last 10 years, because like I said, bro, you need a strong two and a three to win a championship. If you look at the teams that's won it before, aside from Golden State, because they were just fucking anomalies, you look at the Miami Heat team, you had a, a strong two and a three. You look at the Jordan-led Bulls, you had a strong two and a three, Jordan and Pippen. It's, it's almost like what the Clippers should be, but they could never, you know, stay healthy enough to fulfill their potential. So in my opinion, man, just give it two more years in Boston. They just came from the finals. Like, how could you blame them? If they keep the same coach, I think they return to the finals and maybe win the shit this year, especially with the way that Golden State's playing. I don't see nobody in the West that really matches up with Boston like that. So that's all for today, man. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Help us get to 2K. Add the Instagram for uh, short clips and breakdowns and highlights. And uh, we out.